So in Boston, crews are already working to prepare for the storm. Earlier today, the mayor, Marty Walsh, warned Boston residents to stay indoors and to only leave if absolutely necessary. Julie McDonald is live, in fact, right now in Boston with more on how the city is gearing up for this storm. Julie? Yeah, Paula and Liam echoing the governor. The mayor is encouraging city businesses to let their employees work from home tomorrow if possible. They're trying to keep more drivers off the road for their own safety, but also so that crews will have more time and space to clear the streets before the deep freeze sets in. Getting ready. A wicked busy Boston Wednesday during the mad dash before the first major storm. Certainly, it's uh, starting off for the bank 2018. The city's massive fleet gassed up ahead of a night spent pre treating the roads. And then it's all hands on deck Thursday. Plows working to keep streets clear and people safe. We have 40,000 tons of rock salt ready to be loaded and spread throughout the city of Boston. We're going to have 700 pieces of equipment uh, starting tomorrow morning. But hours before the first flake, the streets were far from clear for a different reason. Those who normally do their food shopping midweek joined by many, many others. I passed over two other grocery stores because I could not get in the parking lot. It's pretty crazy inside. Yeah, it's almost like the uh, 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 black... Uh, uh, a Black Friday in there. Firewood, food, and don't forget the shovels. All the essentials for a long, snowy day and more bitter cold to follow. It's important for us that we get the snow off of the ground as best we can uh, tomorrow because once the freeze comes in, uh, it will be almost impossible to move. And so as uh, people run around tonight crossing off their own last minute to do's, the city leaders are encouraging neighbors to look out for each other this storm. Uh, shovel hydrants, shovel near exhaust pipes, also the handicap ramps of sidewalks. Check on elderly neighbors and call 911 if you see anyone outside during the storm who appears to be disoriented. Live in Boston tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.